This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Kia EV9 and we're gonna go on a little road trip today. We are charged the car to 100%. We have also preheated the car uh, at least an hour, I think. Uh, and uh, the battery is sitting at 6 to 7 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's what the temperature is in the garage, roughly. So it seems like uh, the car does not preheat the battery when you preheat uh, the car's cabin via the app. So um, yeah, we will go to Trisil. Uh, there will be an event there with trucks. I will actually drive, test drive uh, a truck, uh, electric truck over there. So let's see if you click here, see the route. And the car actually estimates that we will arrive with 39%. Hmm. Okay, okay, uh, it's a bit early now in the morning, so uh, let's do all the preparation and then off we go. And this is not going to be any 1000 kilometer challenge or any timing attack or range test. We're just gonna go there, hammer there, and see how thirsty is it because it is quite cold today. And I think we also have wind from the north. So, worst case, uh, headwind, uphill, motorway low temperatures minus 15 maybe minus 20 degrees celsius how thirsty is this big beast going to be well we will see we are on the moon now and uh the consumption is 400 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> oh shit! It's minus 20 degrees Celsius outside. And you see that the HVAC is pulling 6.8 kilo. No, 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 what the heck? I, I accidentally bumped into the button here. Did it, huh? Okay, okay, my bad. No, how do you get rid of this? Back, 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 back. There, there. Okay. Look at this shit, man. 7 kilowatt for heating. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, driver only is off. We are 22 degrees Celsius, nice and warm in here. We want to have all the comfort. And uh, still, oh, oh, it's minus 22 over here. Oh, shit. Uh, do, I, do I even have enough juice to get over there? Uh, well, I hope so. The battery was at 6 degrees earlier, right? It's now at minus 1 to 9 degrees. So, uh, seems like it has scavenged some heat from the battery. See here that the inlet is 1. Huh, okay. I wonder what will happen if the battery cools down and then there's nothing else to scavenge. Ooh, okay, let's see then. Wow, the windows in the back, they start fogging. Even though the HVAC is on also in the back. We are getting close to Trisil now, and over here is minus 23 degrees Celsius. Oh shit! Consumption is 386 watt hour per kilometer. Despite that, we are going in some uh, slow A roads. I'm sorry, slow B roads now. Wow, and you see that still now, it pulls 6 kilowatt for heat there. And then the battery has cooled down to minus 6 to 4 degrees Celsius. So I'm not sure if it's still scavenging anything at all there. Okay, but um, all right, um, I talked to the guy now who invited me. He said that um, uh, I'm not going to uh, Trisil, not to not to the airport. No, sorry, not to the not to the hotel. I'm going to the airport. It's slightly closer, so that's good. Um, I have to figure out where it is though, because over here we have no internet. We have no no cell connection. <laughs> oh, minus twenty five degrees. Oh shit. We are here. There's a bunch of trucks here, but okay. Uh, it is minus 22 degrees Celsius. Fortunately, there's almost no wind here. Wait, let me enter my secret uh, pin code here. Okay, so we are charging now, getting some juice. That's good. But okay, so man, it is so cold. I brought not too much clothes, but at least I brought my uh, stolen bag wool socks. So that will keep me uh, nice and warm. And also I have another stolen bag jacket. So. But I didn't bring too much, so hopefully we will not be out too much. We'll just be inside the car or some shit or truck. But okay. But let me see. Are we are we getting 40 kilowatt? Okay, that's better than nothing. Yeah, that is actually better than nothing. 
All right, so let me just uh, walk you through here a little bit. We have uh, lots of trucks here. Many of these are fossil. So here we have Espen who invited me to the event. And then, yeah, we are just plugging. See, this is a Norwegian product. Okay, and now I got the story right. Aneo is just the company renting out these. So the company making these is called a Nordic Booster. But uh, just like you've seen with the other charging container, see, uh, this one has 500 and uh, how much was it again? 500 and yeah, roughly 550 kilowatt hour battery. It has some heat pump even here, uh, but it can be fed with only 43 kilowatt, or I mean, uh, 400 volt, 63 amp, yeah, 43 kilowatt AC. Uh, and then over here on this side, you see we have a chem power mobile. Uh, yeah, okay, it's been limited to 27 kilowatts. So, um, yeah, this is just a regular container, and it is actually enough to supply some of the some of the uh, electric trucks over here. So we have a closed area here where people without uh, a truck license can drive, and then actually many of these trucks they go on public road and drive around this area in some track they do uh, and then come back here. So uh, I will of course test. Yeah, there, there's one of the electric trucks. Wow, so it, it is quite big. Scania, they have been holding these events here for, for many years. And uh, initially they had just a, a few hundred participants. Now they have a thousand. Oh man, I've been out there talking to some of the guys, but I have to come in here and warm up a bit. So, oh shit. Um, yeah. It was coal gating initially. You see now we're taking 83 kilowatts. Uh, or yeah, you see here. Oh shit, uh, sorry. Um, there, you see that the battery is quite cold. One to 10 degrees Celsius. The heater is on now, trying to heat up the battery. So it's now taking 72. And by the way, here you see that. Here we see 83 kilowatts. Here we see 72. This is what goes into the battery. The Korean cars, they've always been like this, just like Kona, just like uh, also uh, Ionic, is that this is what the charger delivers and this is what you get into the battery. You can also see on the charger, we have some stuff going on here. Um, yeah, you see. Um, wait, there is no, huh? Wait, oh, oh, huh? What? What is this? There's a lot of stuff. I, I, I'm trying to wrap around what the heck is going on here. Nordic booster, okay. So, ah, uh, ah, oh, oh, this is the state of charge on the, the big battery. Ah, oh, it's at 41%. So I'm discharging this battery. It's being fed now from the grid or somewhere, right? Is that with 65 kilowatt, really? Okay. And then here, 48. Yeah, you see, now we're taking 75, 80 kilowatt. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. <laughs> okay, here's the badass truck. Um, this truck has over 600 kilowatt hour battery and it can take 350 kilowatt continuous from start to end because there's a top and bottom buffer. And it has 450 kilowatt continuous power. That's around 610 horsepower. You know, this is this is some yeah, just just like all the other stuff you see here, and all the the fossil also. Um, the battery here is made from uh, from Northvolt in Sweden, and they have been specifically designed for heavy duty, for high uh, C rating, in and out, or I mean charge and discharge. So, uh, yeah, th this is this is the badass. You know, this is like really. <laughs> uh, the things that uh, just shows you that um, heavy duty trucks uh, is possible even before Tesla is out with a, with a, a semi. So uh, I wonder which one I will drive. You see, if you see E something on license plate, that is electric. E F E H. Yeah, I mean, you know, this seems to be some, uh, uh, some asphalt uh, truck. So many of these trucks, they're already in service, uh, or at least soon in service. But at least this one, this truck here has been delivered to customer, Osco. Yeah, they do, uh, they do food uh, distribution. All right, I think I'm on top of a container. But uh, here we see an overview. Yeah, that's also electric, electric Scania. And the way you can uh, distinguish it that's electric is that there is this blue, what kind of yeah, bright blue bar there in the middle. And then the top spoiler there, 
with a light on. Those are supposedly the only uh, differences between the, the fossil Scania and the, the electric Scania. So here we also have a bunch of other, uh, oh, a bunch of fossils, but also that truck over there is electric. It says take charge, 100% electric, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of cars here, uh, trucks over here. Yeah, I can show the, the area. This is a, an airport, actually. And you see, that's... Uh, is that electric? I'm not sure, yeah. So that's one of the closed trucks, I think. I think I'm supposed to drive one. So, uh, yeah. I need to figure out now where I'm gonna drive. And I, oh man, I'm getting quite cold. Because I didn't bring proper uh, pants. I'm fairly warm here with the uh, wool uh, socks. Uh, yeah, and also these wool gloves, they are wonderful. They keep me warm. This is also from Stormbike. So unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. The good stuff they have in Stormbike, they don't sell them anymore. <laughs> oh shit, okay, let's go down. All right, we are now inside the truck and we have instructor here, Gay Rune. Now, are you a driving instructor or? No, I'm a mechanic. Mechanic? Or, uh, technical leader and workshop in Stavanger. Okay, seems like that, that is enough, uh, sufficient to drive in the closed track here. But okay, so let me show you here the truck. So it looks more or less like a regular truck, Scania truck. Yeah, except for maybe there's some stuff. Yeah, there's some battery status over here. See, we have 84, let me, let me see here. Uh, we have 84% state of charge. Uh, average was, uh, uh huh? Uh, this is weird, uh, 182. Okay, uh, it must have been reset. It should be 10 times higher, right? All right, so um, I have now adjusted the seat and the steering wheel. Uh, the mirrors looks okay. And then I got some instructions. So now we are in park. Uh, so all I need to do is just to twist this part of the stock here over to the... Well, actually, I don't, don't even have to put on the push the brake here. And I think now we are... We have to manually release this. Yeah, well, we have done it manually. Well. Because I did it manually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have to... There. Yep. And now I think we are just on the hill hole thing. And we can just start driving. Oh, this this is so weird. What, do we have a trailer with us? No. Okay, no, it's just... Okay, well, that, that's good because I, I, I'm not trained at this at all. I have driven some trailer, uh, but that's it. Uh, how long, uh, how, what is the dimension here? How long is it? Yeah. I'm not sure of the length, but it's uh, 22 tons. <laughs> I'm driving in 22 tons? <laughs> But it is nice and smooth. Yeah. I like that. And it's quiet. And where are we supposed to drive now? Up to the left. Okay, to the left here. Hey, it is, well, uh, okay, and there, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like driving a, a Kia, uh, kind of. It's like driving the Kia EV9. <laughs> I'm testing nowadays. <laughs> wow. And then, okay, we should test also how is it to accelerate. Uh, well, this car is, I mean, this truck is a bit uh, light, I mean, empty right now, only 22 tons. But let's see if I just floor it. Easy, easy. Easy, easy, okay. Oh, okay, okay. But I wonder if it has been tuned to be slightly slower. Uh, this, is, this is only 300 horsepower, ah, okay. approximately. But there's some bumps here and you can see the track. Yeah, so... I think you're also supposed to drive here with trailers uh, for people who are more skilled. Use the lever to brake. Oh, okay, uh, th this one. Uh, it's, yes. the, this is a retarder, right? Yes, not a retarder, but uh, you recharge. Okay, so it's sim... Charging the batteries. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, but here, when, you, when I do this, I increase the... the the region, so you can go even stronger and stronger. That's the strongest level there. Oh, well, the cameraman is doing a pretty good job because uh, <laughs> we have to do this handheld for the most, uh, for the best. But you see now, uh, this is uh, in the way you should drive uh, in case you have to go downhill. Just put on the retarder or whatever. What, is it called retarder or? No, regenerating. Okay, it's called regenerating. Okay, I thought it was called. The regenerating power. Yeah. And that's it. Let me see. And then we stop here. And then when I 
Uh, what you do now? I just have to. You just have to uh, take your foot off the brake. Uh -huh, yeah. Now it's in in the uh, hill hold. Uh huh. Auto hold. Yeah. yeah. And you set put it to for neutral. Neutral. Oh, okay. Put it neutral. And if you now loosen your seatbelt, it's going permanent. Park. Ah, then it goes on, yeah. on the leg. Ah. Yeah, and then this time, uh, if you go out and you come back in again, you don't have to do it manually because then you can just do this, put on, uh, buckle up, and then uh, uh, just twist it over to drive, and it will release. Yeah, so then it will drive. So I'll just go back now. We can try to, we can try to back up. By the way, how yeah, is it? Well, just backwards with the. Let me see. I have to then no, wait. Turn it backwards. No, the other way. This is weird. Yes, push it a little bit in. Oh, you have to push it in. Ah, okay. And then you back up. Yep. It has some kind of beep, beep, beep. Wait. Why does it feel like it's slow? It's supposed to, oh, it's supposed to be slow, right? Yeah. Oh, it's been tuned to go really slow. If you put the pedal to the bottom, it accelerates fast. Okay. Okay. Interesting the way it has been tuned. Yeah, because I mean, it's a big truck, so you can't just go too fast uh, back. And then I just put it in neutral and then release, and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> My first time driving an electric truck. <laughs> okay, we're gonna set up now. So I have to slide the seat quite far forward because I'm a small Asian. Uh, I have to feel how it is there, roughly. And then here is the, you unlock it there, and then you can adjust the, the steering wheel. And then you just lock it again. So it is, uh, there's some kind of air stuff going on there. I buckle up. And then how do we start this uh, truck? Uh, oh, okay, we have to twist here. Oh, I see. With the push, the, put the bread. Okay, that, that's how you start the truck, all right? So next time, if I want to try to steal an electric truck, I have to know how to <laughs> start. And then turn off the, yeah, it has similar setup, just like the, the other truck. And then all we need to do is just uh, twist this thing over to drive and then auto hole is on right now so it doesn't slide and then if i just push the accelerator it will just uh, go um so we are good to go then yeah. all right so this time we have Armon here to, as uh, the the code driver instructor and off we go Man, I, I could get used to this. It, it, the display some, said something about uh, driving without uh, valid uh, something. Uh, chauffeur. Oh, uh, uh, chauffeur. Chauffeur, yeah. yeah. Driving without valid uh, uh, driver, like a uh, log, uh, yeah. Because I think this is supposed to have this logger thing. Um, so we are now driving barely legal, but that's fine, that's what I do. And then we go over here. So this truck has more power than the previous truck. You can try maybe on the straight and I'll just floor it and see what happens. Oh, okay. It has been tuned to have this really gentle. Yeah. Oh, also it has different, it has a six speed gearbox. Yeah. What I remember. Yeah. So you, you, it will actually change gears, but you see when I floor it, it's not working as a passenger car because you cannot just floor it uh, there there might be cargo there might be uh, for safety reasons but uh, I think uh, the the truck uh, itself should be capable of doing it but they have configured it like this yeah this this truck didn't have that rattling the other truck supposedly there was some stuff that needed to be fixed there was some rattling coming from the undercarriage but here it is nice and smooth and also dead quiet and then soon we'll come to that little hill downhill and then I will use the region stock here okay two step three oh ooh, nice region uh, uh, when it comes to drive drift på hvor mange aksler er det her eller? en okay bak det er tre aksler men en drift på en hvor bak eller? den aksel to Okay, also there's, we have three axles and then we have uh, a propulsion on the middle axle. So I think that's more common, right? So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what else to say about uh, driving this truck. <laughs> Other than that, it just, 
it's just that experience that it is so nice and smooth and quiet and uh, I suppose if this truck this truck has uh, uh, yeah you can have uh, asphalt in here and if it's fully loaded it will have plenty of power and torque just like the, the diesel trucks and also also high continuous power so yeah uh, but unfortunately we, we cannot do two interesting uh, uh, drives we just drive around this short little <laughs> test track and I get the impression of how it is to drive it so unfortunately also I have no experience with driving fossil trucks but we will take a trip I will ride then with a the fossil truck and you can get an impression of how it is uh, how noisy they are in comparison but here uh, is uh, yeah the, the, it just feels uh, quite good <laughs> and it's uh, it is so easy to, to drive with the truck so now I have to place it uh, in here I think where is that the slot for the yeah and then I also want to try to back up and see how the backup is done here it should be similar right so let's see if I go uh, stop here roughly and then I twist the uh, stock over to you have to push it in uh, and then there and then we have a backup camera here somewhat low resolution on that camera uh, and then if I you see when I throttle here it goes really really slow it just crawls yeah that's how the trucks have been tuned and then if I okay there's a truck coming from behind so I have to be careful uh, wait for it to okay and then if I let's see what happens if I try to floor it then it goes faster okay but it has this gentle you don't want to go too fast with the truck so uh, I, I suppose for people who who are into trucking they'd be like yeah okay it works just like other trucks so that's good and then when you want to stop you just stop here and then put the car into I mean put the gear selector into neutral and that's it when it comes to consumption I can't see any consumption numbers here but uh, yeah, that's a different story. I think we will, we will not focus too much on consumption since we are just driving quite a slow with no load. Uh, or there's no, I don't know, ballast there. Yep, on the last Oh, there, there's some load here. Uh, 25 tons was this. Oh, okay, 25 tons? I didn't feel those 25 tons. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I think we have to move over to the next vehicle now. Okay, here we have yet another Scania. You can barely see it. It's a military car, military truck with um, I don't think we count um, ground clearance in centimeters, we count it in inches or feet with chains on all four wheels. <laughs> there is nothing electric with this truck except for electric start, that's it. So this is really heavy duty. Um, it's just for fun, supposedly, that we're gonna ride this. Um, I thought I was going to get a ride in this. Supposedly they want me to drive it. So I have never driven a truck like this before. I, I know how to drive manual. That's it. But supposedly we will not do much uh, gear shift. So we just, um, let's see, um, clutch, start the engine. 